Right guys, um, let's get to identifying anions now. <clears throat> now, um, to understand some of the tests that we're going to do now, I highly recommend that you watch the video on some of the um, insoluble salts that are presented because that will give you, um, you know, a little bit more insight into why we use the reagents we used to test for the anions that we're testing here today. So the universe of anions that I'll be testing today are first off carbonates, CO3 2 minus. Then we're going to look at how we can test for the presence of sulfates. And then the halides, chloride, bromide, iodide. And finally, we'll test for some nitrates. Okay, So these are the universe of anions that I'll be testing out. So let's get to it. First up, we'll be looking at carbonates. Now, most carbonates are insoluble, except for the group 1 carbonates and ammonium carbonates. So carbonates typically are going to come in the form of a solid. So I'm going to put that solid carbonate in here that I want to test. And what I'll do now is I'll pour in some uh, hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to pour in some dilute strong acid. Dilute HCl aqueous into this. And if, uh, if you see gas being released, if it effervesces, and what you want to do is take that gas and put put on a cork here. Take that gas and channel it into a test tube of lime water. So I'm going to have some lime water here. And if carbonates is present, what you'll see is that the lime water is going to turn milky white. So you'll see a milky white precipitate here, which confirms the presence of carbonates. So the reaction going on here is your carbonate ions are reacting with the hydrogen ions from the acid to give me some liquid water and of course the carbon dioxide gas liberated that turns the lime water cloudy. All right next up we're going to look at some sulfates. So for this test, I'm going to make use of the fact that barium sulfate is insoluble. So you take your test solution that you suspect contains sulfate, and I'm going to do this in an acidic medium. So what you're going to do is put in equal amounts of hydrochloric acid, and then once these two are mixed together, you add in some barium nitrate. So barium nitrate is of course soluble because all nitrates are soluble. So what is going to happen is the barium ions will react with the sulfate ions to give me a barium sulfate um, precipitate. And this precipitate is going to be white in color. So a white precipitate confirms the presence of sulfate ions. The next test we'll do is for the halides. So the chlorides, the bromides, the iodides, fluorides isn't going to give us any precipitate in this case. And for this one, I'm going to make use of the fact that the silver, chlorides, bromides, and iodides are insoluble. So I'll put my test solution in here. And once again, I'm going to need an acidic medium. So I'll put equal amounts of, let me increase my test tube size here. I'm going to put equal amounts of nitric acid into this. And then into that, I'll put some silver nitrate. So what will happen is, of course, the silver ions will react with each of these in turn, um, depending on which is present, to give me a colored precipitate. So first up is chlorides. The silver ions will react with the chloride ions to give me 
a silver chloride precipitate, and this is white in color. Okay, so that confirms chloride present. Next up, if I take silver and if bromide is present, what I'm going to see is a cream colored precipitate which dissolves in um, ammonia. So if you wanted to confirm it, you could add some ammonia to confirm it. So this one confirms bromide. And finally, the colors get darker and darker. When I get to iodide, I'm going to get a deep yellow precipitate. And this confirms the presence of iodide ions. And this precipitate will not dissolve in um, ammonia, so that's one way to confirm it if you want to. Finally, we'll look at how to test for nitrates. So for nitrates, unlike all of the preceding tests, this is going to take place in an alkylic medium. So I'm going to put some sodium hydroxide in this to prepare my solution for the test. And into this, I do something slightly different here. I'm going to put a strip of aluminum here. And the reason for doing so is because aluminum is really strong, it's a really strong reducing agent. And what that aluminum is going to do, it's, it's going to reduce the nitrate, if it's present, into ammonia, which we can then test using a litmus paper. So let me just write the equation down here. I have the solid aluminum, aluminum reacting with the ammonia in the alkylic medium to form my ammonia gas and the aluminum oxide complex. So this ammonia gas that's released is going to turn litmus blue. So it's going to turn the red litmus blue, which will indicate the presence of ammonia and hence confirming presence of nitrate. So wet tip there is just going to turn blue. Therefore, nitrate presence is confirmed. So that was it, guys. It was uh, how you test for anions. If you haven't done so, you can look at previous videos where we check for cations as well. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below um, if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them.